Hi, my name is Sarah and I'm a Greenpeace forest campaigner. I've worked on forests, trying to save forests for about two and a half years in the Congo, in Southeast Asia and the Amazon, but I've never actually seen any of these areas that I've been trying to save until now. Um, I'm here in Kinshasa, which is the capital of the Democratic Republic of the Congo. I'm here because this country um, contains the second largest rainforest in the world after the Amazon. Um, which is really important for the global climate, for biodiversity, but crucially for people because two-thirds of the people here depend on the forest um, for their daily needs. Um, so I arrived a few days ago, I've been getting used to the heat. I've been working with my friends and colleagues in our Kinshasa office, which is one year old. Um, we've now got four members of staff and it's much the same as any other Greenpeace office, similar to London in the it's kind of, it's very lively, people are having meetings, lots of hustle and bustle, phone calls, journalists. Um, some ways it's a bit different to London. Um, the heat, uh, you don't often see lizards roaming around or mangoes growing on trees in the London office. Um, now things are about to get even more different because tomorrow I'm, I'm going out into the rainforest to participate in some workshops with local people. The real challenge here in one of the poorest countries in the world is how do we protect intact forest landscapes and involve local people. Um, that's important not just because it's the right thing to do but because it's the only way to do it if we want to ensure forest protection and protected areas in the long term. Um, local people are going to have to be the guardians of their own rainforest. So I'm going out there tomorrow and I'll send you a message from the rainforest. Thank you.